Okay, so I'm gonna show you the final setup of this. So I put all the parts together. I'm gonna show you my hacky studio. So if I can do this in my office here, you should be able to do it almost anywhere. And I'm just gonna show you how the parts are laid out, how everything looks. I'll also show you some demo videos that I created in this architecture. And so then you can have some idea of how to build all this together. Now, I just showed you how to connect everything, but let me show you how it looks in practice. So there you go, this is uh, the black background I hung up there. Super hacky job, but it's interesting when you do the mix of videos, what's gonna happen is all that structure and folds, they kind of disappear into the background and you don't even actually see them. So there you go, so that's my back black background. That's where I'm gonna sit. And here's the structure. Here's my ATIM Mini Pro sitting right here. It's turned on. Here's my iPad. Here's, for instance, a slide that I might be using on it. Hey, Tim, remember all of the, everything's hooked up here, appropriate outputs, running everything to my computer. So here's the computer interface. And what's in front of me here then is the camera. And the camera is here and it's filming straight on to there. And you can see the camera itself is just seeing the black background with me sitting on a chair over on this side. And so I'm gonna be on one side of this thing and um, that's what exactly what I'm gonna be. Now I can actually see the mix of things right there in the camera. So currently you can see there, here's what I would look like in the frame. And what I'm gonna do is sit onto one side. And by sitting on one side, I'm gonna have this side over here. So notice so I'm getting able to see what's coming from that camera. And what I'm gonna do is mix these. And the way I'm gonna mix it, of course, I'm gonna have a whole demo of this. This is the ATEM software control. This is camera one, camera two. I can mix cameras, so I can go to camera two, and this is the mix, so I can put it halfway between camera one and camera two. And then when I'm gonna come over here and look, now notice what's happened. So what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna switch sides here. My iPad will be over here, I'll be over here, and notice what I've got here. I've got this mix, and so I'm looking currently at the mix. So if I look at camera one, camera one is just me, Camera two is just the iPad, and I have to use this here to mix them right here. And I mix them by raising this to 50% and make it camera one and camera two. Oop, there we go. So camera one, camera two mix. And there is, uh, I want it about 50% each. And there's the mix. And so now you see what I'm capturing here is the mix of the two, and you can see that there. And so I can adjust the camera. Notice in the black background, I just have this black here that you can see, and it covers everything out. And then I can just swipe through slides here. See, I can kind of come through my slides. Stuff will come up, I can point to it. And the way I'm actually looking at what I'm doing is I'm looking at that camera right there, or looking at the output through the camera all being streamed through here. And you know, even here, I can go ahead and draw on these slides. So that's the beauty of having the the, the PowerPoint slides, I can either use, so for instance, I don't know if you can see that, you can, you can see my little laser pointer, or I can actually draw stuff on here, right? And you can see I can mix it together there very nicely. So that's kind of the setup. Uh, and again, all of these components are out of the camera view. The only thing that you really see is me sitting there. Even my iPad is hidden sort of below view and there's just this black drape that's there. And so those are all the pieces you need. You just hook it up, and the only thing then I need to show you how to use is this software here, which I'll do a screen capture on and walk over how to do ATEM software control, which controls the mixer board here. Um, and in fact, if you wanna record, all you're gonna do is hit that green button right there. It says record. That will start recording directly out to the disc, and then you hit stop, and it'll stop recording. So that's a... That's about it. And so now you have the setup you need, put everything together, have the studio. I'm just filming here in bright lights. The camera is exceptionally good. It's a 4K camera. It will have a mic attached to it. I'll talk about how to adjust camera, uh, the volume levels and so forth, but this is the, the way that you do this. And you don't have to worry about too much how well you see this background in the folds because when you mix it, it kind of fades out and you don't catch up all those features um, when you're filming this thing.